everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I have the Pixel 8 Pro in a very unique bay blue color. Big thanks to Google for sending this out. They also sent out a Pixel 8 Pro case in a similar blue color there. So we're gonna unbox the Pixel 8 Pro here. I'm gonna show you what it's all about, show you some of the cool features and help you decide if you should buy the Pixel 8 Pro or wait. Let's get started. All right, so we got the Google Pixel 8 Pro in that bay blue. Just a quick walk around of the box here. And you can see not too much to it, very basic. We got some pull tabs right here. Ooh, I love that sound, that vacuum sound of the boxes. Look at that color. Right off the bat, you can see the Pixel 8 Pro with that very nice bay blue color. And that's a matte finish glass on the back there. Peel this back. Very nice. We'll power it on here while we're looking at the phone really quick. Just press and hold on the side there. We'll look at some of the accessories that you get with it as well. Instruction manual and warranty, USB-C to USB-C cable for charging and transfers. And I really like that Google always includes this USB-A to USB-C adapter. Okay, so setup's complete, swipe up, and there we are brought right to our home screen. And this is a beautiful display. Now Google calls this the Super Actua display. It's a full screen 6.7 inch OLED display and it's now flat compared to last year's Pixel 7 Pro which had the curved edges. The display itself has 120 hertz refresh rate and a resolution of 1344 by 2992. Now taking a look around the Pixel 8 Pro you're going to notice that it's completely surrounded with a polished aluminum frame. On the right side, you have your power button and volume rockers. On the left side, you have your SIM card slot. On the bottom, you have your speakers and your USB-C port for charging or transfers. And finally, up top, you just have a simple antenna right there. Moving over to the exciting back side of this phone, you have the new triple cameras here, and this is a 58 megapixel wide, a 48 megapixel ultra wide, and a 48 megapixel telephoto lens which has a five times optical zoom built in. Now one really cool feature that Google announced here was this option right here underneath the flash and this is actually a temperature sensor. I'll test it out. So this is really cool. This app is going to measure temperature of different devices. So we've got the Pixel 7 Pro plugged in. We'll just keep it close. Tap you can see it's 69.2 Fahrenheit. Got a cup of coffee. It's been sitting here for about five minutes. We'll refresh it. Tap to measure 106. And if we get closer, you'll see the temperature will get more accurate. Now you want to keep this little temperature sensor right here as close as you can. Let's actually measure the temperature of my hand. So I'm going to kind of try to hold it here. 85, 87, the back of my hand, 85. Yesterday's cup of coffee, 65. Pixel Watch 2 box, 70. Get closer, 69. Let's see if the side is any different, 67 for whatever reason. So it's pretty cool and it's all done through this app. So very interesting feature. I'll be posting a full tutorial on how it works and what you can do with it. So definitely stay tuned for that on the channel. As for the finish on the back, like I said earlier, this is a matte finish. It is glass, so you don't want to drop that. Grab a case and you do have that camera bump right here with that sort of band in that same aluminum finish that surrounds the entire frame. On the front side of the display, as always, you have a front camera. This is a 10.5 megapixel dual PD selfie camera. Obviously not going to be nearly as good as the rear camera, but it's there if you need it. Moving over to the case really quick here, we'll just open up the box and we'll take a look at how the case looks. So there it is, the Google Pixel 8 case here. And this is that same sort of blue in comparison to the back of the Pixel 8 Pro. Very similar, has sort of like a felt finish inside with some pixel branding here. You have your buttons. These are actual buttons, so they will click the buttons on the phone, openings for your mic and your different ports. So let's go ahead, pop it on. And it is like a silicone case, so it's not going to be anything crazy, but there it is. Keeps the look of that bay blue color, if that's what you're going for. And it does protect the phone if you do place it down. It has a little bit of an edge to it, so the lips will protect it. Same goes on the back. You can see that it does elevate the case a little bit over the camera. So if you do place it down like this, 
your camera should be okay. Now the Pixel 8 does have the finger unlock. You can see right there, the little fingerprint, you just place your finger over after you've set it up and it'll bring you right into your phone here. You can also pay for things, get apps and things like that as well. Also, you do have a face unlock, which has new security features now. So it will work with your banks and other options like that. You'll have to set that up either in your setup or in settings, but it does give you more functionality than it did in the past. A quick look at the camera app here will allow you to see some other options. You have Top Shot, which is popping up right here, but you can take simple photos, pretty responsive. You have your two times zoom and your five times zoom right there. You can kind of see the fabric of uh, the actual little carpet behind here. You can zoom in digitally all the way up to 30 times which that's crazy. I mean, this is too close, but you can get 30 times zoom if you need to. And then obviously you have the 0.5 zoom as well. So the ultra wide there, you have night shot, panorama, regular photo, portrait, long exposure, action pan right there. You also have some video features here as well. And there's some cool AI built into this phone, especially exciting for video and photo. I'll be showing you that when I do the full tutorial on the camera and I'll give you more information on that. You have settings here to give you even more pro features here. So if you really wanted to, you can take this to a completely different level of photography. A lot to it. Strongly recommend you watch that tutorial when I create it. Now, a quick comparison to the Pixel 7 Pro. If you're coming from that one, you can see the differences here, especially on the back. The cameras look different. You have the new temperature sensor. On the front side, the Pixel 7 Pro was curved. You can see the curves along the edges, which I kind of liked, but now seeing the flat edges here, I like the flat look. It's just preference, I guess. This one here now has the G3 Tensor chip here, so you are getting a better performance and better AI options that are available with that new chip. So in the end, the Pixel 8 Pro is the better phone, and if you are looking to have the best of the best, then upgrading is definitely an option. However, the Pixel 7 Pro is still very capable, so it's totally up to you what you wanna do when it comes to upgrading. If you've never picked up a Pixel device, give it another look, because these phones are surprisingly good, and if you're interested in seeing what they can do and how they all work, I'll be posting tons of videos on this, showing you tips, tricks, tutorials, and even comparisons to other devices. So subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification box if you're interested in seeing more videos like this, and click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave a comment. I try to respond to every comment that comes my way, and as always, I will see you in the next one. Thank you.